What is going on? Welcome back to the I Smoke channel and another cannabis inspired video with me, your host, Tyler Green. Today, I'm back with another entry into our CBD extract review series featuring the goods, Shatter and Wax. This time, it is Sour Apple, their new flavor that they've just brought out and I wanted to take a look at it right here on the I Smoke channel. Let's get into it. Sour Apple is one of the ever-growing range of flavors on offer from the Goods CBD over on their website. Over the past best part of a year, I've been looking at several different flavors. We've looked at some of the weed-inspired flavors like OG Kush and Girl Scout Cookies. We've looked at some of the beverage-inspired flavors like Mojito. And we've looked at some other newer flavors such as Tropical Citrus, which I've really enjoyed as well. Today, we're looking at Sour Apple, which is a fruity entry into the product's lineup. This is smelling fantastic. I did have a sneak peek of a smell and a dab. Actually, last night dabbed some of the wax before I filmed this video. The goods make two forms of CBD extract. They are GMP certified, so good manufacturing processes, and they contain 0% THC. They're broad spectrum in terms of the CBD wax and CBD isolate in terms of the CBD shatter. So this is 99% CBD and this is 80% CBD with broad spectrum, which means it also has other minor cannabinoids as well. Both of these pots of extracts have the same terpene profile. So that is the sour apple profile created by the goods as part of their new range. That means that this is some unique tasting extract developed specifically for this company. It is not following a specific cannabis strain. With this in mind, it's gonna be really nice for people who might not necessarily like the cannabis taste, but want the benefits of cannabidiol. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's get into it. Opening it up then, you can see the difference between the extracts. I sort of jump about as to which is my favorite form of the goods extract. Sometimes I prefer the wax because I like that kind of, that balance of additional cannabinoids and knowing that it's in there. And then sometimes if it's just for the pure flavor, I like the shatter as well. I see the benefit of both when it comes to CBD. You can get the benefits of CBD without the other cannabinoids, but the other cannabinoids help not hurt. I've got two forms of consumption method today. I've got my dab rig here and I have my Lynx Ember pen, which is also available with the goods products over on the Hemp Health website. So I'm gonna put some into this and we're gonna taste it right about now via vaping and dabbing. Just before I do, I wanna to talk to you about this smell of this extract because it is very aptly named. It has the same sort of undertone as like a Granny Smith apple, that kind of the, the not the sweet side of apple, the sour side of apple, actually reminds me of being a kid, picking apples from a tree, taking them home, and my mum being like, you can't eat them ones. <laughs> is, that, is that sort of sour apple-y sort of aroma? You can really smell that, that is sour apples. I would say that the wax smells more like sour apples than the shatter, which still has the same turp profile, but is kind of coming through into my nostrils in a slightly different way. Mm. But both of them smell great. So let's dab them and see how they taste. Super easy to vape the CBD extract using the Lynx Ember. You just need to put some of your extract into the device onto the coil like so, and it is ready to turn on and vape. So we're gonna do that right about now. And then I will use some of the wax in the dab brick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it twice to put it in session mode. And now that's gonna melt down that extract and we're gonna get an idea of that flavor. Cheers. Oh, both very smooth and really tasty, actually. Very clean tasting. There's less to that than I was expecting. 
as I'm exhaling. It's just kind of like a, a smooth, lightly flavoured vapour rather than a sort of terps, terps, terps in your mouth. That is nice. Coming through, you get sort of slight fruity notes, but it's not in forms of a sweetness that I was expecting. Despite the name Sour Apple, it is more kind of just, just making my brain aware that there's kind of a fruity, perhaps apple aroma coming through. A smooth vapor exhalation, like a slightly like um, flavored, nice flavored, but slightly flavored vapor taste as you exhale. I'm gonna put some into the dab rig with the 80% CBD, which looks lovely, by the way. It looks like a, a hard boiled sweet. I love the color of it. So we're about to dab the sour apple goods, CBD wax, 80% broad spectrum cannabinoid extract. This is gonna be fun. Join me for this one, and I will see you all on the other side. Cheers. was a proper dabbing experience. Wowza. So, <coughs> vape that at a lovely low temperature in the dab rig, as you can see. With the intention of preserving as many of those terps as possible, and the sour apple extract did not disappoint. What I sensed in the aroma, I can now taste at the back of my mouth, sort of at the back roof of my mouth. But again, lovely sort of exhalation of this vapor, like it's not too overpowering. It's, in fact, it's not overpowering with added terps. It's just got a nice hit to it, you know, which is really, really nice when it comes to um, the CBD wax. Out of the two, which do I prefer? I'm not actually sure because they both have a nice flavor. I like the broad spectrum from a consumption perspective. I prefer to consume it, but I recognize that the Shatter is a lovely form of extract as well, despite being 99% CBD isolate as opposed to the 80%. I'm just gonna try putting some of the wax into my Lynx Ember device. It's just melting into its own vapor, that is so cool. Yeah, the wax has got ever so slightly more of a sort of terpiness to it. That could be because I used more wax in this pen than I did shatter. Really tasty. And they're definitely getting nicer as well. So that I would say that tropical citrus was one of my favorite goods flavors. And now sour apple easily matches it in terms of how nice it is. So yeah, I really like that. I will mainly consume this either in the Lynx Ember or in the Poda Vaporizer that I got from the Hemp Health website because they make it super easy to just load in some extract and dab or vape it. I've also got my dab rig out, so from time to time when I want bigger hits, when I want nice chunks of extract, I will chuck them onto this heated up banger and vaporize them that way. But Overall, it's a nice form of cannabis extract on the CBD side. You can find this on the Hemp Health website with the discount code ISMOKE10, which will get you 10% off. Effects wise, obviously CBD is not psychotropic, so it is not changing my mental state to make me more inebriated. However, it is working on my CB1 and CB2 receptors, meaning that it will have potential benefits and impacts in several areas related to endocannabinoid deficiencies or specific um, 
diseases or illnesses that I may or may not have. That is the good thing about CBD is that it interacts with the same receptors as THC but has its own set of beneficial properties. So really cool stuff. I personally noticed becoming more alert, more easily able to retain facts when I'm reading and learning and less anxious as a result of my CBD consumption. How does CBD help you? I wanna know, leave your comments below telling me how CBD benefits you if you are using it. And remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying our content to help us grow. That's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching and keep talking. Stepping on your roller coaster Going down, but I never felt this high Biggest ride of the century